My name is Arjun. I came as an international student in 2014 from Bangalore, India. Right now, I have five years of experience in supply chain management and also I'm founder of fellow international student organization, which actually helps international students and new immigrants in personal, professional and business development. Welcome to another video, guys. In this video, I'm going to meet you with Arjun Kashyati. Arjun has worked in India in a very big bank, which was called Wells Fargo. But he left his job and left Canada और अपनी इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट जर्नी शुरू की और आज वो एक सप्लाई चेन एनालिस्ट लगे हुए हैं बहुत बड़ी कंपनी में तो इस पूरी इंडस्ट्री का स्कोप जानेंगे अर्जुन से उनकी करियर का प्रोग्रेशन जानेंगे आज की वीडियो पूरी जरूर देखिएगा बिकॉज इट्स गोइंग टू बी सो इंफॉर्मेशनल फॉर यू गाइस माय नेम इज अर्जुन आई एम एक्चुअली फ्रॉम बैंगलोर इंडिया and I graduated from uh, BCom and I also worked in a bank as a financial analyst for two years uh, in Bangalore and uh, I thought of doing my higher education right after two years of experience and Canada was one of the viable option in 2014 and I moved to Canada in 2014 as an international student. Uh, one of the consultants in Bangalore actually got me a seat in St. Clair in Windsor and it was a beautiful college and I went there but my friends in Toronto told me like you know you come to Toronto and Windsor might not be the appropriate place for you to get all the part-time jobs and whatnot and one of the friends actually helped me to get a seat in uh, St. Lawrence College in Toronto I did my international business management over there you asked me why did I select that I have no idea why I selected because one of my friends suggested me to uh, go there but within one year of education in St. Lawrence I did understand that I had to move out of that college and get a better college and Seneca became one of the option and I got into supply chain management program in Seneca in 2015. It is one year postgraduate diploma programs so I did IBM International Business Management from 2014 uh, to 2015 and I took four months of break and then I did the second program from 2015 to 2016 which is supply chain management. My first part-time job was a factory and it was in a bakery where they were baking muffins and donuts and all of it, all of these things. Coming from back home, we are not really familiar with the donuts and muffins but I still went there and within one week I fainted in that factory because of the heat and eight hours of shift and that was a big realization that okay making money is not at all an easy thing in Canada and then I kept on looking for better jobs. I got a cashier role in Pizza Pizza within, within one month and I was so excited but in the very first uh, day they actually made me clean the washrooms uh, in the Pizza Pizza Pizza. So that was a big eye opener for me in Canada that the titles doesn't matter. They actually make you do everything if they pay you. Uh, I did that for almost two months. I, I was a cashier, I was a dishwasher, I was a cook, I was a cleaner. It's all around. Um, and eventually I got a call center role in 2014 or 2000, starting of 2015 itself. It was in a uh, research call center. I just go there and pick up those scripts and call the customers asking their feedback, survey and all these kind of things. And it was a big shocker for me because coming from Bangalore in an MNC, it's a beautiful, beautiful structure. A lot of, um, uh, you, you get the free coffee and the systems are good. They, your boss takes you to the pub in the weekend and whatnot. But here in call center in Toronto, I saw 1998 Windows big doomed computers with broken headphones and that's how I had to start my journey in call center. But still, did that for two months. Then eventually I got into security. Uh, that became my ultimate part-time job in Canada because security uh, doesn't require a lot of physical uh, abilities as well as you don't have to put in a lot of mental stress. I did that for almost one and a half year. So security was one of the best part-time jobs which I worked in Canada. Canada is completely dependent upon supply chain management because we don't produce anything here. We actually import a lot of things uh, to consume here, right? Currently, I'm working as a supply chain professional for Sobeys. Sobeys is the second largest retailer in Canada. So how did I find that job? Obviously through networking. But before that, I, got, I was working with Walmart as a replenishment analyst. Before that, I was working for another company called uh, Acklands Granger as a purchasing analyst. And before that, I worked in financial industry in, um, in India. So the reason why I'm giving you all those background is because I was able to build large network uh, by talking to people, going to coffee chats and whatnot. So which actually gave me a little bit of Canadian experience. From there on, I moved up. So I work as a demand planner for Sobeys. I replenish the products and services. I purchase the products and services. I forecast the demand for the sales. I also maintain the inventory. I reduce the waste for the company and I increase the profits for the company on a daily basis. 
in layman terms when you go to a website when you look for a product if it is available it is because i am doing my job if it is not available because i am not doing my job so i am in a nutshell i am a person who's keeping the product on the shelf at the right time at the right place with the right quantity when a customer comes in they can buy the product so first of all a formal education is needed uh, when i say that we have great colleges here seneca humber conestoga lambton and centennial and george brown college so these colleges are providing beautiful one and two year diploma programs in supply chain if somebody is planning to enter the supply chain management without any back uh, back home experience or uh, expertise this would be a beautiful course to understand the basics of it and from there on they can move forward because to get a first job you don't need a lot of fancy certifications uh, in supply chain if you know the basic fundamentals and principles if you can get an interview and if you can crack the interview that's good enough because in the companies they're going to teach you how to do the work they don't expect you to do everything by yourself because every company operates differently 5 10 years back there was no formal education for supply chain management right now based on the demand by the companies colleges and universities are recognizing supply chain as an formal education a lot of new companies or the mid size companies are recognizing that we need a supply chain team we need a supply chain manager we need a supply chain analyst who can um, uh, increase the uh, like you know revenue to the company cut the cost and all of these things so now it's a very growing industry and moreover i always give this example ripple effect so somewhere pandemic started like say pandemic started in china but the grocery shelves in canada are empty because of that so now we are living in a global economy no matter what happens in a corner of the world the impact is in somewhere else so as supply chain professionals it is very important for us to understand the global economy and act accordingly so that way we can fulfill our customer needs for a full time job we can think about somewhere between 40 to 50000 dollars per year with benefits um assuming that you don't have any experience and you just have an you're a fresher and what not so let's say you have some sort of experience between 1 to 3 years maybe you can look up to 50 to 60000 dollars per year kind of a role it's a pretty good salary in canada because the average income in canada is 45000 dollars per year and if somebody has 5 plus years of experience they can aim for 100000 dollars kind of a jobs if somebody has an opportunity so opportunity uh, is you got a visa you got your ilts you have money I think you should take that uh, leap of faith to come here. Um uh, there is no no way that you can fail in this country if you work hard. Obviously there'll be challenges, obviously it'll be much harder than what you think, but if you work hard there's no way you can fail. Let's say for example you invested 30,000, 40,000 of um, money to come to Canada. Within 5 years you can recover that money and after 5 years you still don't feel like staying here. You got all the experience, international exposure, the diversity and you can go back and maybe start your startup or get into a nice MNC in India. So coming here would not become waste. Without coming to Canada and without being independent, I don't think I would have achieved what I have achieved so far. So one advice for me if somebody is ready and they have an opportunity to come, I I would highly recommend them to come to Canada. सो ये थी आज की वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू गाइज लव द वीडियो यू गाइज सॉ द कन्वेक्शन ऑफ अर्जुन कैसे उन्होंने बड़ी कंपनी को छोड़कर छोटी जगहों पे काम किया एंड नाउ इज वर्किंग इन अ बिगर कंपनी विद इवन बिगर पे एंड विद इवन मोर बेनिफिट्स एंड इवन बेटर लाइफ स्ट्रक्चर सो आई होप यू गाइज गेट मोटिवेशन इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट फॉलो हिम ही हैज ग्रेट चैनल ऑन यूट्यूब एंड ऑन लिंकडन एज वेल आई विल मैंशन ऑल द सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फील फ्री टू फॉलो हिम इफ यू हैव एनी कंसर्न मैंशन इन द कॉमेंट्स आई विल ट्राई और अर्जुन will try to uh, address them and don't su- forget to subscribe because that's how i get the motivation of making even more content for you guys thank you Bye.